Headline guest today, he's a big believer in the value trade, and for good reason. His portfolio was up 17.5% in November through a highly concentrated strategy. Andrew Wellington is the co-founder and CIO of Lyrical Asset Management, joins us now. First time we've seen you, and uh, it's been at least a year, it feels like. I hope you've been well. <laughs> yeah, I have. Good to see you again, too, Scott. Yeah, maybe it's been a couple years. So this strategy of yours, I say concentrated. <laughs> That's an understatement. OK, if I look at how uh, you do things, you've made seven trades this year. You normally do five in a year. In 12 years, you've literally made a total of 60 trades. Yeah, well, you're, you're not going to beat the market by looking by the market. Uh, so we take a best ideas approach and we still have 30 stocks in the portfolio. And if you look at the academic research on diversification, if you own 30 different stocks in a portfolio, you're getting almost all the benefits of diversification you would get from a much larger portfolio of 100 or more stocks. You, you're a value investor, obviously. This rotation that we've seen, is value now getting its moment in the sun or is it going to be fleeting? Yeah, I guess that's, that's the big question. And a lot of it depends on what you're calling value. And with our clients, we've been making this important distinction between value stocks and value indices. The value indices have been just absolutely terrible. They've been underperforming for 14 years. But value stocks have actually done far better than that. And the big difference is, you would, you know, when we talk about value stocks, we're talking about generally the cheapest 20% of the market. And you'd think the S&P 500 value index would be something like that, say the 100 cheapest stocks in the S&P 500. Well, those 100 cheapest stocks are in the S&P 500 value, but so are about 300 more stocks. There's almost 400 stocks in the S&P 500 value index. That's nearly 80% of the stocks in the S&P 500. So you don't really get value stock returns from the value stock index. If you look at how value stocks have done, they did great coming out of the financial crisis. They had significant outperformance for nine years from 09 through 17. Uh, they beat the S&P 500 cumulatively by 175 percentage points. Now, 18 and 19, and for three weeks this year, they were definitely out of favor. Um, but value stocks have been working since mid-March. And uh, it's only recently that the value index has started to work. Okay.